In communication skills, we refer to this as noise. Could you tell me which channel is it? Confusing? Hello everyone, how have you been? Today we are going to talk about encoding and decoding in communication. All of us communicate through encoding and decoding. How? Soon you'll understand that. Now, what is communication? It's sending and receiving messages, right? So for communication, we need a sender and a receiver. The sender is the person who initiates a conversation, right? Now, let's first understand the role of the speaker, the sender of the message. Now, suppose I'm the speaker, okay? I have a message. What will I do? First, I'll put my thoughts, the message that's here, into words. I'll give it a nice structure, a form. Then, I'll make sure that it's readable and conveys the message that I intend to convey. So my choice of words, the sentence structure, must convey my intentions. Once my message is ready, what will I do? I have to convey that message to my friend now. The message is ready. I have to convey it to my friend. Now, for this, I need a channel. Let's talk about the channels now. First, sensory root. What's that? Sight, smell, sound touch, taste, okay? Next, verbal, words. It could be a phone call or face-to-face -face meeting, all right? Next, non-verbal communication, okay? Non-verbal channels, body language. For example, the other day I was in a meeting. I couldn't speak, I couldn't write. My children wanted to watch TV, so they just came in, they showed me the remote control, and I nodded my head. So that was non-verbal communication, okay? Next, written communication, written channels. What's that? Email writing, messages, text messages, okay? So we have different channels. In order to convey my message, I have to choose a channel. Sensory, verbal, non-verbal, written. I decide to make a phone call. Now, which channel is it? Phone call. Verbal. Okay, words, phone call, face-to-face -face meeting, verbal. So, I call up my friend and say, hey, I'm going to the market. Do you want me to get something for you? That's my message. So, this entire process, wherein I put my thoughts into words, gave it a nice form, chose a channel, and finally transmitted my message, conveyed my message. This entire process is called encoding so the speaker always is the encoder okay if you're speaking you're encoding all right now let's talk about the decoder who's the decoder here yes you guessed it right the receiver okay now my friend who received my message is going to decode that okay decode meaning will try to understand what i just conveyed Okay, my message. So after receiving, after decoding my message, my friend will now decide a response. Okay. So do you think my friend will remain a decoder or now the role will change and my friend will now become an encoder? What do you think? Right. Now my friend will become the encoder because my friend is now thinking putting his thoughts into words, okay? And now giving, giving it a structure, a form, because he has to send his message to me now, okay? So re remember, the receiver is always the decoder and the speaker, the sender, is always the encoder. So after decoding the message, my friend will become the encoder. So he can say, yes, I'd like you to get some fruits for me, okay? So this is his message. Now, when I received the message, earlier I was an encoder. Now I become the decoder. Okay, do you see this transmission, constant transmission? So this is an ongoing process. The process of encoding and decoding, it's happening all the time, all the time. Again, it's not difficult at all. Just remember plain and simple thing that the speaker, the sender of the message is an encoder. The receiver 
is the listener is always the decoder and the roles keep changing also encoding and decoding may vary from person to person okay because we are all different people we interpret messages in a different manner altogether so encoder encodes the message and decoder interprets the encoder's message confusing it's plain and simple speaker encoder listener decoder that's it okay and roles keep changing in communication always remember one thing that your messages must be clear it should have clarity it should not create confusion in communication skills we refer to this as noise unwanted noise so make sure your messages are clear concise and to the point it should never confuse the listener the decoder okay in order to convey the message that all of us communicate through the process of encoding and decoding i chose this platform could you tell me which channel is it let me give you two options okay so that it becomes easier for you auditory or visual which channel keep learning stay blessed stay safe